Ladies and gentlemen, March Madness is finally here. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I've only watched like maybe two or three college basketball games all year. <laughs> the whole year, bro. Uh, but uh, today, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to fill out our tournament bracket. I have been listening, you know, to aficionados over the past, you know, couple of days, you know what I'm saying? Do my little research. You know, trying to learn about some of these players, some of these teams that people got. You know, I know some players that are on some of these teams because I follow some of, them, some of them coming out of high school and stuff like that. But this tournament looks like it's going to be a whole lot of upsets. This is probably going to be a very unpredictable uh, tournament. There's no real clear cut team that's going to win it, although people think that uh, the brothers at Arizona are going to win it. I don't know. They have the best record in college basketball this year. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to let you guys know what my bracket is. I'm going to show you guys the winning bracket. And, uh, yeah, I did pretty good last year. I did I did really, really well last year with my bracket. Like, I, I did, I was like, I think I had a lot of, I was like in the, like, 90-some percent or something like that. At least, like, 90-some percent correct. Like, I, I did really, really well <laughs> last year. I went crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, we about to do our bracket for this year, ladies and gentlemen. Do it on my own. I used to do it with someone else, you know what I'm saying? But not this year. We do it on our own. So, uh, we better transition to uh, the computer. So, let's get it. All right, yeah, boys, man. We are on the computer, ladies and gentlemen. We see we got the round of 64, ladies and gentlemen. The round of 64. We got all of these teams that we're going to be looking at right here, man. Uh, 1 through 16 on each conference. And we're gonna start off with the West. We're gonna start off the West, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Gonzaga versus Georgia State. Um, Georgia State's actually a pretty good basketball program. They usually are always um, in this tournament, but it's Gonzaga, bro. Like, they got the boy Chuck Holcomb, and they got, I believe, Timmy is still there and stuff like that. Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's nah. <laughs> Uh, Boise State versus Memphis, Penny Hardaway's team, you know what I'm saying? Now, I person, I'm personally a big fan of Imani Bates. I believe he's going to be a top five pick in this year's upcoming draft, top five, top ten at least. Um, and I think Penny, Hard he gonna, Penny Hardaway and his team going to get it done. So I'm going to, I guess you could talk, technically call it an upset, but I'm going from, with Memphis in this game. I'm going with Memphis. Uh, UConn versus New Mexico State. New Mexico State usually does really well in this tournament. But I've heard UConn, they've been on it this year. They're a good basketball team. You know, this is the, usually the typical 5-12 upset. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to pick one of those. You got to find one of them. But it's not going to be this one. I'm going with UConn to win this game. I'm going with them to win this game. Arkansas versus Vermont. Hey. Vermont, uh, usually known to be a pretty good basketball school. School. Let's let's look at the stats real quick. You know what I'm saying? If if, if it'll pop up for me, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's not it's not cooperating with me, guys. Oh, there there it go. It finally start finally it's starting to pop up. Nope, it it, it, it didn't. What, what is my computer doing? There there we there we go. All right, you can look at the stats here. Right Illinois, uh, Vermont went 28 and five. Pretty good record. Um, you can see the statistics. You know what I'm saying? Opponents field goal percentage. Um, Vermont very very low. They don't allow a whole lot lot of scoring. You know what I'm saying? I did really well in the conference. Kind of around the same points per game. I think I'm gonna pick an upset here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna pick my first real upset. We're gonna go with Vermont to beat Arkansas. First upset we picked of the day. Alabama versus either Rutgers or Notre Dame. Now I've actually heard about Rutgers. If Rutgers gets gets out of that, I think they can beat Alabama. So with that being said, I think I'm going to pick Rutgers. Assuming that Rutgers wins their game to beat Alabama. Um, if not, I mean, if I can change it beforehand, I will change it immediately. I will go ahead and change it immediately and pick Alabama to beat Notre Dame. Because I don't, I don't think they will beat them. Because I've heard a lot about Rutgers. I've heard about them. You know what I'm saying? I've heard about them through the... Through the little video, not the videos, through the uh, little uh, research I've done and stuff like that. Uh, Texas Tech versus Montana State. Uh, Texas Tech, yeah, yeah, they got it. Um, they're they're slowly becoming a pretty good basketball school. Slowly but surely, they're becoming one of those. Michigan State versus Davidson. 
Uh, you know, the school Steph Curry went to, you know what I'm saying? Davidson, they, they, they've come up a little bit over the years ever since Steph Curry went there, but uh, not today. <laughs> Michigan State going to win this. Duke versus CSU Fullerton. I'm not going to hold you, bro. Duke better get it together, bro. There's, there was, Duke is one of the games that I actually watched. I said I'm going to only watch like two or three games. Duke is one of those games, you know, last game for Krzyzewski and stuff like that um, at, at, uh, at the Duke's Blue Devils uh, Stadium. I'm not even going to hold you. Duke, I don't know too much about CSU Phil, uh, Fullerton. Um, they're 21 and 10. Uh, that a great record, but, you know, Duke worried me, bro. I'm not going to hold you. Duke worries me in this tournament. I don't know how far they're going to go, but uh, I haven't beaten CSU Fullerton. Um, but eh. <laughs> I don't know. Duke scares me, bro. Duke scares me. Uh, let's go to the East bracket, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Baylor versus Norfolk State. Uh, Baylor, everyone's very high on Baylor. They are, def they are, they are the defending champions, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, they're back. And, uh, we're gonna pick them. You know what I'm saying? They had no Davion Mitchell anymore, but, hey, man, they still doing very, very well this year. North Carolina versus Marquette. I got North Carolina winning this game. I saw them play. Um, they look pretty good. They got that big man that's really, really good. I got North Carolina winning. St. Mary's versus either Wyoming or IU. St. Mary's usually does, is usually a very good, respectable basketball school. Um, I'm not too familiar with what Wyoming or uh, I'm assuming it's Illinois University uh, have done this year. So I'm not going to pick the 5 12 upset here either. I'm going to go with St. Mary's. UCLA versus Akron. Hmm. Let's, let's look at this. Look at this. 24 and 9. UCLA is 25 and 7. Um, both respectable. UCLA scores more points. We're not gonna put it. We're not gonna pick a 4 or 13 upset here. We're gonna, we're gonna go with UCLA. We're gonna go with UCLA on this one. Texas versus Virginia Tech. I've heard a lot about Virginia Tech, y'all. Heard a lot about them boys, man. Then we're gonna go with them. Picking another upset. You got to pick upsets in this tournament. You got to pick them in this tournament, bro. You got to do it. Purdue versus Yale. Purdue, well-respected basketball school. Yale, I mean, <laughs> they're more known for their for the bright, for the smarts, you know what I'm saying? So maybe they outsmart them on the court maybe somehow. I don't know. I, I Purdue got too much talent, bro. I'm sorry, but Purdue, Purdue wouldn't. <laughs> uh, Murray State versus San Francisco. This might be the first time I've ever seen San Francisco in the tournament. But, uh, yeah, nah, not over Murray State. Like, Murray State is, they, they on another level. 30-2, and two, like, this year. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, Murray State. Murray State low-key a dark horse. Like, watch out for Murray State. Uh, Kentucky versus St. Peter's. Uh, Kentucky has definitely uh, been a better school this year overall. I've been paying attention to what people have been saying and stuff like that. They're a little bit up and down as well, but I think they're going to get this one um, as well. St. Peter's, uh, I, I don't know you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, hey, man, it is what it is. Now let's go to the South, ladies and gentlemen. Arizona versus, I don't know. I don't know if that's Western or what other school it is, but... Arizona, like, uh, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Uh, Seton Hall versus TCU. I think I'm gonna go with Seton Hall on this one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Houston versus UAB. Now, um, I'm from Houston. You know what I'm saying? Um, my cousin, he be going to the games and stuff like that. They've been a pretty good team. They've been living up and down this year. They're not as good as they were the other years. You know what I'm saying? But I think they're gonna win this game, though. Still not picking this 512 upset either. You know, you got to pick one of them. Maybe I don't pick one. I don't know. We got one more to go. Uh, Illinois versus Chattanooga. Uh, so that was a different uh, university. It might have been Iowa University. Um, but I'm going to go with uh, Illinois to win this game. Chattanooga. Eh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, Colorado State versus Michigan. Michigan always seems to somehow, some way do well in these tournaments. Even when their record doesn't even say it, like right here, they're 17 and 14 this year. <sighs> Colorado State, I mean, I don't know too much about them, but Michigan just seems to always do something in this tournament. So I'm gonna go with Michigan. I'm gonna go with Michigan. 
Tennessee versus Longwood, Tennessee. I ain't even got to think about that one. <laughs> Loyola of Chicago. Loyola of Chicago has haunted me all the time in these tournaments. They're playing Ohio State. Um, I think Loyola of Chicago is going to win this game, though. Uh, Ohio State don't look like that. You got if great of a team, 19 and 11. That's not a great record, but I'm looking at it from my eyes. You know what I'm saying? And then you look at the statistics as well. You know, allowing 68 points per game. Yeah, nah, that's that's Loyola Chicago got that one. <laughs> I'd be surprised if Loyola Chicago lose that game, honestly. Uh, Villanova versus Delaware. Uh, Nova, they're back again. They're always in the mix. Always in the mix. Um, gotta go with them. Gotta go with them. Uh, Kansas versus Texas Southern. You know what I'm saying? Texas Southern near me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, pretty pretty good basketball school. You know, heard about them, but not against Kansas. Nah, nah. <laughs> uh, Creighton versus San Diego State. These are two very good, very well respected basketball schools. Uh, San Diego State's defense. Look at that. Only averaging 57.7 points per game. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And if you can defend in the tournament, you can go very far. So I'm going to go with San Diego State to win this game. Uh, Iowa versus Richmond. I've heard a lot about Iowa, man. I've heard a lot about Iowa. I was a dark horse, man. I, I'm not picking no 512 upset this year, ladies and gentlemen. I know that's crazy. I'm not picking it. I'm not doing it. I've heard too many, too, too many well things that I will condemn to end up in this final four. They could end up. They got a player that uh, is a I forget the dude brother's name. They've been talking about him. He a shooter. He he knows how to get to the rim. He he's explosive. Like Iowa's a dark horse. Watch out for Iowa. Watch out for Iowa. Providence versus South Dakota State, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at the statistics. South Dakota State, they score really, really well. These are, this is going to be a really good game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, South Dakota State can score in bunches. Score like crazy. I'm, I, I think I'm going to go with South Dakota State. They look like they got some sniper. They got some shooters. They got some scoring on there. They be putting up buckets over there. Hey, you can score in the tournament. Hey. Hey, <laughs> uh, LSU versus Iowa State. LSU finally back in the tournament, you know what I'm saying? Sharif O'Neal is going to be playing in this, you know what I'm saying? This Shaq song, for you guys don't know. I don't think he's that big of a prominent on the team yet. I think he, he might be he's still coming off the bench for LSU right now. You know what I'm saying? His journey and stuff like that that's been going on. But these are two very close teams, but I think I'm going to pick LSU to win this game. Uh, Wisconsin versus Colgate. I, I always roasted Colgate. Like, how's your school named after toothpaste, bro? Like, how did that happen? <laughs> how exactly does that happen, bro? What? <laughs> I, I don't understand how that happens. But uh, Colgate, 76 points per game. Pretty good compared to Wisconsin. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this could be a big time upset right here. I, I think I'm going with the toothpaste school right here, ladies and gentlemen. I got this is probably my big upset right now. I have Wisconsin going down to toothpaste. <laughs> I have them going down to toothpaste. Uh, USC versus Miami. Uh, USC is usually my favorite football school. I'm, I'm a fan of their college football program. Not so much the basketball though. I don't really, I'm not, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but uh, or if you've been around my channel, I don't have a favorite college basketball team. It's the only sport that, as far as when it comes to men's leagues, that I don't have a favorite team. Like, I don't. But uh, USC versus Miami. Uh, Miami's defense, not quite up to par. USC's defense is a little bit better. And they're around the same about, about in scoring. I think I'm going to go with, you know, USC. They've, they've low-key built a pretty good program. They just had Mobley, you know, come out of there and stuff like that. So, hey, I'm going to go with USC. And then Auburn versus Jacksonville State. Now, i just seen Auburn lose in that SEC tournament. You know what I'm saying? And they're playing Jacksonville State, I believe. Um, I think they should take care of business here, though. I think they will take care of business, and they will get the W on that one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on up to the West, ladies and gentlemen. Memphis versus Gonzaga. This is going to be a good game. This is going to be a good game. But I think experience is just too much. Gonzaga is going to take this game, though, overall. UConn versus Vermont, ladies and gentlemen. This should be a pretty good game. Um, Vermont, very good defensively, obviously. Kind of the same around the scoring rounds, you know what I'm saying? But 
I've heard a lot of good things about UConn, man. A lot of good things. No upset here. We're going with UConn. Uh, this is assuming that Rutgers has beaten uh, Alabama, has beaten Notre Dame, and they are going against Texas Tech. Uh, I think Texas Tech is gonna uh, end Rutgers Road here. I think they're gonna take this game. Michigan State versus Duke. Oh Lord, this is where I get scared. <laughs> this is where I get scared for Duke, bro. I get scared for Duke. I don't know going against Tom Izzo too, man. I don't know. I don't know. We're going we're gonna to go with Duke. We're going we're gonna to go with Duke. We're, we're going to say that they prevail. They're going to get to the Sweet 16 at least. They're going to do that at least. You know what I'm saying? Let's move on to the East. Baylor versus North Carolina. Should be a pretty good game. But Baylor is just too much for these brothers, man. I've seen North Carolina play. They have some really good players. But Baylor's just on another level. Go with Baylor. St. Mary's versus UCLA, ladies and gentlemen. Looking at statistics, opponent field goal percentage. You know what I'm saying? UCLA not as great as defense as they as uh, St. Mary's is, uh, but UCLA can put up buckets. They can score. So I'm gonna go with UCLA to take this game, ladies and gentlemen. Purdue versus Virginia Tech. I've heard, like I said, heard a lot of great things about Virginia Tech. Heard a lot of great things. But I think I'm gonna stick with Purdue on this one. I think I'm gonna stick with Purdue. Kentucky versus Murray State. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an upset. I'm going with Murray State to win this game, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that look, 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 look what they're doing, bro. Like they're averaging 80 points per game, only allowed 62 points per game. Kentucky gave me up and down sometimes. I got Murray State winning that game, ladies and gentlemen. John Moran ain't there, <laughs> but I just got them winning that game. <laughs> Uh, Arizona versus Seton Hall. Uh, don't even have to think about it. <laughs> don't even have to think about it. <laughs> uh, Houston versus Illinois. I'm going to go with Houston. You know what I'm saying? Going to go with Houston. I think they're going to pull this game out. You know what I'm saying? Illinois, very good basketball, respectable basketball school that's coming up. And Houston been doing the damn thing, man. Uh, it was an up and down year this year, but I think that they're they going to get it done. They're going to get it done. Michigan versus Tennessee. I think I'm going to go with Tennessee on this one. Uh, Michigan, you know, respectable basketball school. They barely made the tournament, but I think they, they get their upset in the first round, but that's it. They're done. <laughs> They're done. Loyola of Chicago versus Villanova. Now, this isn't all the usual Villanova teams that we usually see, you know what I'm saying? And these teams are pretty even. Loyola of Chicago, they've done this before. This would be a huge upset. I'm picking it. I, 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 I've, I've learned my ways. I'm not picking against Loyola Chicago from pulling off upsets. And Villanova is just not quite the same team that they were years ago when they was winning them national championships. I don't believe they have that kind of talent on this team. But, hey, man, I have Loyola Chicago winning it. Uh, San Diego State versus Kansas. Uh, San Diego State, respectable school, but I got Kansas winning that game. Iowa versus South Dakota State. South Dakota State, very challenging game. Very challenging team. But I have Iowa winning that game, man. I have Iowa doing it. LSU versus Colgate, ladies and gentlemen. Colgate. Toothpaste, bro. Hey, man. I got Colgate, ladies and gentlemen. I have toothpaste again, ladies and gentlemen. I got toothpaste again. LSU, you know what I'm saying? I just haven't heard too much about LSU, you know what I'm saying? And I've seen people put Colgate as like a dark horse team that could they can mess some things up in this tournament. We shall see. We shall see. Um, Auburn versus USC. Uh, I'm tempted to pick USC, but I, I, I think Auburn is going to get it done. I think they're going to get it done. They're they, they going to get it done. You know what I'm saying? All right. Back to the West. We are in the Sweet 16, ladies and gentlemen. First, we're going to start off on the West. Gonzaga versus UConn. Got, got to go with the Zags, man. Got to go with them, man. They just, they just too good, man. Duke versus Texas Tech. I got to go with Texas Tech, man. I think that's, I think that's the last game that, that my, Mike Krzyzewski will coach. I think the road ends there. Uh, I think they're going to be going against a, a, a very well-respected basketball school. And Duke is just too up and down for me. They're just too up and down for me to trust that they're going to go into this tournament and actually do something. You know what I'm saying? So, I got Texas Tech winning this one. I got Texas Tech. Baylor versus UCLA. Should be a very, very good game. But, ladies and gentlemen, I got Baylor. I got Baylor winning that one. 
Purdue versus Murray State, man. I think Murray State's on to something, man. I got him winning it. I got him winning it, man. I, I, look, 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 man. Looking at the statistics and things that I've heard about this team, man, they can score in bunches. Purdue can score in bunches, too. But the difference is that Murray State, they can defend a little bit as well. You know what I'm saying? So I got Murray State winning that. I got Murray State winning that. Uh, Arizona versus Houston. This is where the road ends for you guys, Houston. I'm, I'm sorry. This, this. You ran into Arizona. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you just had to run into Arizona, my brother. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Uh, Tennessee versus Loyola of Chicago, ladies and gentlemen. Two very even teams. I think this is where it ends for Loyola of Chicago, though. I think Tennessee is going to get this one. I, 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 I just think they are. I just think they are. Uh, let's go down. Kansas versus Iowa. I'm picking Iowa, ladies and gentlemen. I'm picking Iowa. I think they're going to get it done, man. I really, really believe that they are going to get it done, man. They they look like a school that, like I said, everyone and their mom are talking about. They're, they're the dark horse team. Um, everyone's bigging up this player, man. Like, he's big time. He's improving his job stock like crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know if I saw this right. I don't know if they're comparing the drum. They're comparing him to, like, low-key, kind of like Kawhi Leonard in a way. You know what I'm saying? That shooter that can play defense, that can do a little bit of everything. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, I got Iowa winning. Auburn versus Colgate. Am I picking Colgate to really beat Auburn, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, Auburn did lose in the SEC championship game, man. You know what I'm saying? Colgate is a pretty good team. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I got to pick Auburn. I have to pick it into it. I think I we cut the malarkey here, bro. <laughs> we'll cut the malarkey here. We'll co, co, Colgate, you had a good run, but the malarkey ends here. All right, y'all doing too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go on to the elite eight, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to the final four? Gonzaga versus Texas Tech, man. Two very well respected schools gotta go against Zaga, man the Zags man they're back in the final four ladies and gentlemen they're back in it and then we have Arizona versus Tennessee I gotta go with Arizona man I gotta I gotta pick them man hey they, they just been too dominant all year long I gotta pick them let's go down to the east who's going to the final four out of the east Baylor versus Murray State this gonna be a good one this gonna be a good one. Murray State only lost two games all year, ladies and gentlemen. Two. I know they don't play in a big time conference. But that's saying something that you're dominating your conference like that. Now the one top 25 team that they played, they lost. You see right here, Baylor, they're five and three against top 25 teams. Respectable record, respectable record. Did not lose in conference play at all, Murray State. They beat everybody. They ain't losing nobody in that conference. Do I do it, ladies and gentlemen? Do I do it? Do I pick Murray State to go to the final four, ladies and gentlemen? I'm not doing it. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Baylor's too good. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm sorry. But... I am picking Iowa to beat Auburn, ladies and gentlemen. That is my big woe in this in this uh, tournament. I have Iowa going to the Final Four. I have three one seeds and one five seed that's going to make it out, ladies and gentlemen. So my Final Four, Gonzaga, Baylor, Arizona, and Iowa, ladies and gentlemen. I have that as my Final Four. Now, who's going to the National Championship, ladies and gentlemen? Gonzaga versus Baylor. Respectable schools. You know what I'm saying? This is this is basically a rematch of the national championship. <laughs> I just thought of it. This is a rematch of the national championship, ladies and gentlemen. They are meeting in the final four this time. And I think Gonzaga's gonna get their revenge, ladies and gentlemen. I have the Zags going to the national championship. That brother Chet Fogum is something serious, bro. I've seen him coming out of high school. I hope he's not Porzingis because, you know, I'm a Dallas Mavericks fan and Porzingis just, nah. <laughs> but, he, that, brother's, that brother's really, really good. I think this is the superstar. Even though Jalen Suggs is very good, I think Chet Hogum just has a lot more elements 
that I think is going to be too much for Baylor to deal with. I got the Zags, man. I got the Zags, man. Arizona versus Iowa, ladies and gentlemen. This should be a crazy game. Crazy game. I'm picking upset, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going with Iowa, ladies and gentlemen. I think what the team has such high expectations for them to win it all because Arizona has the number one record. They have the number one record in all of college basketball. And then they're going to get to this Final Four and fold. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I just think they're going to get to this Final Four and fold. Everyone looking at Arizona, they look invincible. And then they're going to fold in the, in, the, in the game, bro. I've seen it too many times when it comes to these Final Fours, bro. The team that you expect to win it will fold all the way. They get to the Final Four. You think, oh, yeah, they're going to win it. They go. It's their time. It's their time. Fold. <laughs> hey. Hey, I got Iowa winning, bro. I got Iowa winning. And then when it comes to the national championship, ladies and gentlemen, I think Gonzaga finally, they finally win a national championship, ladies and gentlemen. I have the Zags winning it, and I have it as a score. Um, we're going to go, we're going to go looking at the scoring, you know what I'm saying? This could be a very high scoring game. I'm gonna I'm gonna go 82 76. That's gonna be my final score. That is going to be my final score, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to submit these picks right now. Y'all seeing it live? Oh, I got for my information now. Okay, I, I can't see that. <laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah, I have them winning the uh Hold on, I didn't do it, do it the way I wanted to do it. <laughs> but, uh, yes, I have the Zags winning the National Championship, ladies and gentlemen. That is who I am picking to win this year. Uh, Y'all can let me know what you guys have as your final four down below in the comments. Let me know you guys have winning the National Championship. Gonzaga is my national champion. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, I think this is the year that they're going to get it done. So, Y'all let me know what you guys think about this video overall. And if you guys are ready... For March Madness, your boy is out.